If any movie exemplifies the unlikely success of Saul Zance's films, it is the improbable adaptation of an obscure novel entitled The English Patient. Sometimes I try to remember what it must have felt like, because there was a period where we had no uh, uh, financing for the movie, where I went by myself around the studios with some photographs of locations, photographs of designs, trying to sell this film about a burnt man in a bed talking to a nurse about what had happened to him or hadn't happened to him. I can't say that I would have put any money into the movie. For their richly textured adaptation, the filmmakers of The English Patient won nine Academy Awards. Saul made me feel as if I could make a great film. He's a dinosaur. You know, it's, a, it's a, a lost breed. He's the only producer who never irritated me. You know, producer is such a cheap word. I wouldn't call so producer. Every film now has seven, eight, nine, ten different producers. What, what does that mean? No, he's a part of the filmmaker. Zance continues to thrive in his adopted city, drawing inspiration from a film community that nurtures creativity. Here, it's different. It's like a small town where people know each other and help each other, actually. It's great you walk down the street and you see somebody you know for 20 years, and it's still a guy you're happy to see, uh, and they're happy to see you. You want to be friends, because that's a community you adore, you know, that kind of artist community who you see create, you know. After more than 30 years, Saul Zant still lives for the gambler's thrill of throwing the dice on his next big film. It's really adventure. It's real adventure uh, as a kid. And I love that idea of uh, adventure. I still do, you know, and I get paid for it now. <laughs>